brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. Y'all already know what's going on. We're in the building, man. As soon as y'all get ahead, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. God damn it, y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. We got three topics today. First topic, we talking about Big Mike and King Vine. Second topic, we talking about Muwap. And then the third topic, we talking about NBA Youngboy and, and the federal government, man. Shit crazy, man. A lot of shit to talk about today, but we're going to go on order. So we're going to start off with the King Von shit. So, and uh, the Big Mike and the King Von shit. So look, man, everybody know, if y'all ain't seen the uh, Big Mike interview on No Jumper, make sure y'all go check that shit out, man. God damn it, Big Mike just did a interview with No Jumper. And, you know, the shit was two hours long, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit was two hours long. Hopefully, Adam... Chop that shit up, and you know what I'm saying? Release that shit in pieces. So you ain't got to watch the whole two hours unless you want to. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, there's a lot of parts of the interview that stuck out to me. But, you know, one other part of the interview that definitely stuck out to me is when Big Mike said that Kane Vaughn was a serial killer. You know, Adam and Remo asked Big Mike if he think Vaughn was a serial killer. And, you know, Big Mike, you know, he said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that part kind of stuck out to me because, you know, this has been like a topic for a while. You know, I ain't going to put no time on it, but for a nice amount of time, it's been uh, a topic and shit like that. And, you know, a lot of people, they tried to say that, no, nah, Vaughn wasn't a serial killer due to the fact, like, you know, you know, like his ass, like it was a gang war going on. People on this end, you know, is shooting at them. So they shooting back at the people that shooting at them. So a lot of people that were saying, like, Bond wasn't a serial killer. But I ain't going to lie, bro. For uh, one of Big Mike's own counterparts, one of his big homies at that, to come out and say the shit, it got me re-looking at the shit. Because I think I kind of uh, low-key was on some shit like, you know, like the like I was damn near on the side of the the people who saying that he wasn't due to the gang war due to you know what I'm saying these people you know what I'm saying people over here shooting at them so they just going back and shooting at them like it's a act of war going on so it's like you know I kind of was on that shit but I ain't gonna lie you know Big Mike saying the shit got me rethinking about the shit and you know. Once you just put that thing into perspective, man, you start, like, looking at the numbers and shit like that, bro, you got to call a spade a spade, bro, you know. Even with the gang war going on, bro, like, like once you start, like, Mad Max, 051 Melly, King Von, so the number associated with Mad Max is uh 16. The number associated with Vaughn is like 11 and the same thing for Melly the number that's associated with Melly is 11 bro you know even low numbers lower than that bro but we just gonna talk about these people and they numbers you know and stay like the uh big names that get brought up in these type of situations it's like bro it is what it is bro we can't keep the reason I feel like a lot of us be on some shit like no nah, they not a set of a lot of us be on some shit like, no, nah, they ain't no serial killer. They ain't no, no Jeffrey Dahmer shit. Like a lot of people, you know, uh, say that shit. And I'm noticing that it's a lot of people that, you know, like-minded people. Like we from this, we from the same shit that they from. So it's like, we be the ones to defend Vaughn or, or Mally or Max. We'll be like, no, nah, they ain't a serial killer. And you know, I can't just, you know, just come out and give you the exact reason or all the reasons, but I feel like one of the reasons that we be saying that shit is because we from the same shit that they from. There be people that look like me. There be females that look like, you know, I'm the females in the trenches. There be people like me that come from the trenches. There be like, goddammit, 
my homie a uh, shade of shit, and he from it be people from the same shit that they from. We will defend that shit the whole time, bro. It's like we gotta call this shit for what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? If it look like a duck, walk like a duck, quack like a duck, whole time it's, uh, pro- it's probably a duck who like, you know. That shit is not normal. For one, we gotta just be real. That shit not normal. Even with gang wars and all that shit, it's like. It is what, like, a lot of people, they be like, you know, they in love with Von music so much. You know, a lot of people, they, you know, they'll see Melly, you know, on these Instagram videos or these YouTube videos, and they'll take a liking to, you know, how Fulham was carrying himself, and they'll be like, you know, that'll be a reason a person to say that he not a serial killer. Or a person, Von, a person who love Von music, like, they love his music so much, that'll be a reason that they uh, say uh, Bond wasn't a serial killer. We didn't really have too much YouTube videos on Mad Max for you, for you to see how he was uh, carrying himself. And Mad Max ain't really do no music. So uh, I can't really use the examples for Max that I'm using for Bond and Melody. But it'll be these reasons that we'll say, like, no, nah, they ain't a serial killer. All the time, bro. It is what it is, bro. We got to call a spade a spade. I know y'all from the, I know Vaughn from the trenches and y'all from the trenches too. So you don't want to believe that somebody that come from the same shit that you come from could be that. But the whole time, bro, like it is what it is, bro. You got Vaughn on homie, one of his big homies at that saying this shit. And you know, that's what got me re-looking at the shit. And you know, after re-looking at the shit, bro, it is what it is, bro. Melly was a serial killer, bro. My son, bro, it is what it is. Bond was a serial killer. Like, how you gonna tell me that they wasn't a serial killer? Oh, it was a gang war going on the whole time. You know, they were just, you know what I'm saying? It was defense. It was so deep. They were defending themselves. A part of them, it is defending themselves. But when you got somebody who they start, like, once it, like, once it get past that, then, like, it's, it's something else, bro. You can't just be like, nah, they was participating in the game. What they shot at us, so we shooting at them back. Like, nah, bro, on my son. Like, Von ass took a liking to this shit. You can't tell me that he didn't. Melly ass took, Von liked the killing people, bro. You can't tell me that he didn't. Melly took a liking to this shit. You can't tell me that folk Melly ain't like this shit, bro. On my son, bro. Like, as much as, uh, and just because a person, you know, could got the ability to be a good person and have a good heart, don't disqualify them. No, he Vaughn had a big heart. He get look what he did. He gave the shirt off his back. Look, he gave money. He took a hundred thousand to his neighborhood and gave money to all his homies. So that means he's not a serial. Like bro, that shit is invalid, bro. On my son, like that shit is invalid as hell. Like once somebody. Take it past, like, what's going on for real? Like, I, right, you know, yeah, it's wars going on, but it's like, whole time, it's like, the people that I say that's not serial killers is the people that I feel like they didn't like the shit. You know what I'm saying? They did it because they had to. Like, whole time, we can't say that about Vaughn. Like, no, Vaughn did it because he had, like, you might could say that from the first situation he had his hand in and maybe even the second and maybe even the third. But once anything past that, bro, it's like, bro, you like this shit. You on your fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh body, and you telling me you don't like this shit? Same go for Melly, and same go for Mad Max. The person that I'm not able to associate, like, you know, we ain't, it ain't too many videos of Mad Max on YouTube, so you can see his character, how he coming and shit like that, and Mad Max ain't do music. So it's like, I can't really uh, use the same examples for Mad Max that I use for Bond and Melly, but the whole time, his number higher than everybody number. Like, the number associated with Vaughn is like 11. Same with Melody. Mad Max, the number associated with him is 16. So it's like, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, like, once a person start, like, having fun with the shit, like, they, 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 they like this shit, and, like, they doing it, like, just to goddamn it, like, because it's something that they like to do. Like, it's past the gang war at that point, bro. It's past, goddammit, they shooting at us, so we going to shooting at them. Like, nah, bro, like, at the end of, like, you know, 
they ass like this shit. They like killing people. Like, this is what they do. Mad Max wasn't no rapper. His ass wasn't in no goddamn it. A whole bunch of YouTube videos so y'all can see his character. We don't even know his character. Like, the phone ass wasn't really in them YouTube videos like that for real. And his ass wasn't no rapper. So, whole time, like, yeah, bro. You know, like, you know, like that Big Mike interview, like, once, like, when I seen Big Mike say, yeah, you know, it, it made me think it got that shit got the that shit got me to start to think. I'm like, man, we did talk about this shit before, and I kind of was went against the shit on some shit like, no, nah, I don't think Bond was a serial killer. His ass just did what he had to do. His ass just was playing his part in the gang war. But when you once you like look at that shit a second time and really look at that shit, bro, it was past that shit, bro. Like with the Malcolm Stucky shit. Like, Vaughn, like, the whole, like, so let me tell y'all about the Malcolm Stucky shit, bro. So, boom. The whole reason that Vaughn left that party and came back and killed Malcolm Stucky is because they was looking at him, bro. Like, they didn't do shit to Vaughn. Like, like I know we hear in that song, like, man, you know what I'm saying? You mean, you mean, mugging, you know what I'm saying? Something gonna happen. And you probably done heard the situations, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, that shit... Killing somebody for looking at you was crazy, bro. I don't care how you put it. No, nah, they was mean mugging. Yeah, okay, they probably was mean mugging, but mean mugging is a form of looking. So you telling me that Vaughn killed this man because he was looking at him? He was mean mugging him or whatever? Like, Vaughn, real life, left his party, came back and killed this man because he was looking at him, bro. Like... So, yeah, bro, all these people that I'm naming, bro, I feel like it was something seriously wrong with they ass. Like, past, goddamn it, you know. Nah, bro, his ass was just, he just different. Like, nah, ain't no his ass. Just, something was wrong with Vaughn. Something was wrong with Melly. And something was wrong with Mad Max. Like, they took a real liking to killing people, bro, on my son. Like, ain't no way around it. Like, all three of they ass were serial killers. Mad Max killed 16 people. His ass a serial killer. Vaughn killed 11 people. He's a serial killer. Melly killed 11 people. His ass a serial killer. Like, I ain't trying to hear nothing else. You know, you got Vaughn Big Homie saying this shit. Like, this ain't his homie. This his Big Homie. The one who was doing the shit before him. The one who taught him how to do this shit. He even said the shit like, yeah, Von Nash was a serial killer. So it's like, what more do you need to hear? And then once, like, if you, like, look at that shit closely, bro. Like, don't, like, look past his music. Look past him showing love to his homies. Look past him, you know what I'm saying? All the moments you see him around his homies, like, and you seeing him in a video, you taking a liking to him. Look past all the shit that you, the shit that you like about him. And really look at the shit that went on in the streets that his ass was behind. Like, look at all the shit that he was behind and goddamn it. Look at that shit, bro. Quit looking at, no. God damn it. Wait, I, I'm listening to Welcome to O Block. This Bond is my favorite rapper. He, no, he wasn't. Like, look past that shit. Look past how cool you think Melly was. Goddamn, you looking on the video. Melly cool as hell. Melly a player. Not like, look past that shit, bro. Look, look at the, look at all the, 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 the trail of bodies, and then tell me is he a serial killer? But now, you know, we gonna move on past that shit. But uh. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Just like look like look at this shit for what it is. Like look past all the shit that you like about these people man. and look at, you know, look at this shit over here and tell me what it is for real. But uh we finna move on to this move off shit, man. God damn it. Uh before we move on to the move off shit, make sure y'all smash the like button. You, you right there. If you tapped into this shit, you rocking with this shit, make sure you smash the like button. That help us run this shit up. That shit definitely help us run this shit up. So definitely smash the like button. Y'all already know what's going on. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up. Make sure everybody is able to smash the like. But look, we finna move on to this old block move op shit. God damn it. Uh, everybody know uh, old block move op. You know, everybody know he got found guilty of the duck shit. So it's like, 
they ass waiting on sentencing at this point, but Muwak put in the motion to get, you know, acquitted. Like, he put in the motion for acquittal or whatever. And, you know, I think they did that shit like a month or some change ago. And the judge had up until April 15th to review the shit and make his decision. So it's like April 18th right now. So, you know, um, the shit ended up getting denied because now Muwa family, they on some shit like, all right, now we like the acquittal got denied, but we finna try to push for an appeal. So the whole time, you know, um, they as is finna retain El Chapo's uh, lawyer, the lawyer that was uh, representing El Chapo. Everybody know the Mexican cartel, El Chapo. The lawyer that was representing him, they finna retain him for Muwap for Muwap appeal. So I guess they got some type. His appeal is not cheap. So I guess you know they got some money behind them, or you know, who knows? You know, like. Uh, Fat, fat, probably, you know what I'm saying, helping out, because, you know, she still got d thing money, you know, she probably helping out off the strength for a month or two, you know, and then, because uh, everybody tightness, it's like a tightness circle or whatever, and then, you know, who knows, Dirk probably still behind the scene. Everybody know, like, Dirk treating Muwap like how he treated Nine. Like, they let Nine and C-Day went to court, they let C-Day go up in there with a public defender, but they paid thirty thousand for Dirk and them paid thirty thousand for nine lawyer, and it's like same with the O Block Five. All them other O Block members went up in there with weak ass public defenders and weak ass lawyers, but Muwap had that hundred thousand dollar lawyer and shit like that. So just off the fact that they saying that they grabbing a L Chapo's lawyer, I feel like you know. There's some shit going on behind the scenes to the point where Muwap, he got some people with some money backing him. So that could be Dirk or that could be Fat Fat or that could be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he definitely got people in his corner with money if they talking about appeals and shit like that. But, uh, yeah, man, O-Block Muwap, his, um, his motion for acquittal got rejected. The judge reviewed that shit and rejected that shit. You know, so now they finna try to come back on the pill. And it's like shit, bro, at the end of the day, my opinion, I feel like that shit not even gonna work because it's like they got you down dead to rights. They got you on camera from Old Block all the way to Oak Street. Like, I'm like literally like the cameras on the freeway they got y'all going from all the way like basically like that goddamn you know how you in the Uber and you watching goddamn it like yo your pickup uh where you got picked up to where you getting dropped off at that's literally how they got it like in real time real footage they got y'all last all the way from old Parkway Gardens all the way down to the Gold Coast all the way to the footage to when y'all hopped out the car and shot Duck and went and stood over them and overshot them and shit like that so it's like you know. At the end of the day, bro, just like the acquittal got denied, I feel like the appeal gonna get rejected and denied too. Cause it's like shit, you know, at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, they talking about uh, they gonna file for an appeal and shit like that. And it's like shit, you know, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like the old block five situation is finna hit different for all these other people's situations like uh, Cezanne, Rondo, and Derrick Rose because it's like, you know, a lot of time, a lot of times in uh, like Cezanne, Rondo, Derrick Rose type of situation, like all of them got 40 years, right? So a lot of times in those situations, they're gonna, uh, cause, so mind you, move up in them, it's a chance that they, like the death penalty was on the table, but it's a chance that you know, um, so the death penalty was on the table and life without parole is on the table. You know, Mama Duck, she advocated for, for them not to get the death penalty. So now it's like really just life with, like now it's really just life without parole on the table and shit like that. You know, that's if the feds decide not to, uh, that's if the feds decide to, uh, you know, take Mama Duck what she won't into consideration, you know, 
if they wish most likely they probably is. So so life without parole is really what's on the table and shit like that. So uh, they situation different from C D Rondo and D Rose situation. Like a lot of times in a uh, situation like C D Rondo and D Rose, like they all got forty years and shit like that. A lot of times in those situations they ask, like, after you do 20 years, you'll be eligible for parole. After you do half your time or some shit like that, like, after you do half your shit, you'll be eligible for your shit. Like, after Ron don't do, like, 20 years, he'd probably be eligible to come home on parole. Shame for C.D. and D. Rose. That's not the case in the old Block 5 situation. Like, life without parole is just exactly how it sounds like. You finna spend the rest of your life in jail. Ain't no parole. Ain't no coming home on um, goddamn it after you do 20 years. None of that shit. You see what I'm saying? You know, like even, even, even um, Jaro City 50 shots got a better situation than Muwap them. Just off the fact, like Jaro City 50 shots got 115 years. But it's like, he still, like, if you go look at his Western name shit, like, he got a parole date. So, boom, like, his shit, you know, would be like, it's still crazy. Don't get it. I like, like, it's still crazy. Cause, like, Gyro City 50 shots. So, boom, he, his shit, uh, happened in like 2014, 2015, or some shit like that, right? Or, like, yeah, around that time, 2010, 2011, 2012, like 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 that type of that uh that era. So I right, let's just say 2010. So boom, Jaro City 50 shots out date will say something like 2070. His shit would say something like 2070. You know, um, hold on. Yeah, Jaro City, uh, Jaro City 50 shots out there would be some shit like 27. Now, everybody who get a life sentence without parole, when you go look at they out date on their paperwork, they shit gonna say deceased. You see what I'm saying? Like, it ain't gonna be no out date. That shit gonna say deceased. You see what I'm saying? Jaro City 50 shots, even though he got 115 years, so his parole date would say something like 2070. You see what I'm saying? Cause uh, after like 60, after like half your sentence, you will be up for parole. So no, nah, his shit would say something like 2050. Damn, my man fucked up. So the shit happened in 2010. So 60 years, uh, add on 2010, that would be 2070. So yeah, Jaro City 50 shots outdate on his paperwork would say some shit like parole, parole outdate would say some shit like 2070. But Muwap and all the old Block 5 on their paperwork, they outdate with they shit gonna say deceased. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all finna die up in here. It's not guaranteed. It's, li it's more than likely that Jarl City 50 shots, his ass gonna die before 2070. You see what I'm saying? But it ain't guaranteed. So it's like, if he make it to 2070, he could get out. You see what I'm saying? As old as his ass gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It's actually a possibility that his ass gonna see the light of day again. For y'all, it's not. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know... So people, so... When people get like football numbers and shit like that, like D Rose, Rondo, see that, you know, you be having people telling up in them situations, but they are not as likely to tell as much as a person who got life without parole. Cause it's like, you know, it's even though D Rose, Rondo, or see that, they have to sit down for 20 years, whole time, you know, 
God damn it, like some people in that situation, they'll tell too, like, I, right, you know, they got 40 years, they finna have to sit down for 20 years, get out on parole and do the rest of their 20 years when, when they're on the outside and shit like that. Some people, even in that situation, will tell, but it's more likely, you know, somebody who brainwashed by the streets is somebody who on some shit like, nah, I ain't, I ain't no rat type shit, like, they got that shit in them. They ass a... They ask to do their time and come home in 20 years and shit like that and don't tell. You know, it's a it's a chance that they ask to tell, but it's a chance that they ask won't tell. But somebody that's got a life sentence without the possibility of parole, the shit that the old Black Fire got, that chance, like the chance for a person getting 40 years, doing 20 years and coming out and doing parole, if they shit is like this, the person that get a life sentence without the possibility of parole, they sit it like this. Like the bar is damn near full. If damn near guaranteed they ass going to tell on my son. If they got anything that they can tell that's going to get them out of jail, they tell them that shit. So it's like, um, yeah, like, so the acquittal, the motion for acquittal for Muwap, that shit got denied. The appeal, they said they're going to get El Chapo lawyer and try to get an appeal. I feel like due to all the camera footage, they get the, like from Old Block all the way to the Gold Coast, and they got the actual murder on camera. They got you on camera killing Duck. I feel like the appeal not even going to work and shit like that. So I feel like all that shit going to get denied. The acquittal got denied, and I feel like somewhere down the line, the appeal going to get denied. And I feel like, God damn it, Old Block, Muwap, and all the other... Uh, people on this case, they ass gonna start talking. They ass gonna start telling everything they know, including Muwap. I know that's something a lot of people favorite rapper and shit like that, but nah, your favorite rapper, his ass finna tell. His ass definitely finna tell, man. Ain't no shit. His ass still might not come home for a long ass time after he tell, like shit. But, uh, yeah, man, y'all last, y'all last finna get found guilty. I mean, y'all got found guilty already, but y'all finna get that life without parole. Y'all finna get that elbow. Y'all finna get that life without parole handed down to y'all. And, you know, shit. The F probably ain't gonna have no murders to tell long. Trey Five is telling everything. Trey Five from Old Block is telling everything. So it's like anything that Muwap probably know about, Trey Five know about. So it's like shit. When Muwap finally do get ready to tell that thing, the uh, 12 going to tell his ass like shit. We already know about it. Like shit, your homie already told us that thing. Like mm -hmm. that, that window closed five years ago. Like your homie Five told us that thing. The window closed five years ago because your homie Five told us everything we need to know. Like type shit but uh nah man but uh yeah Muwap his acquittal definitely got rejected by the judge and I feel like his appeal gonna get the uh rejected too like his uh, they gonna they gonna shut his appeal down like they gonna let him get an appeal like they probably gonna you know what I'm saying relook at the case and all that shit but that shit gonna get denied pull them finna the, have to sit up in the you know and all they ass from the pull up Alpo. I ain't gonna lie, Los ass the first one who like making steps toward goddamn it, uh like Los ass, he's ass already ready to tell their thing. Like if I'm not mistaken, like Los ass already putting the play together to tell about everything his ass know. But no, that's that shit on the O block move up shit. They done rejected his shit. We finna move on to this NBA young boy shit. Before we move on, if y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is, drop locate so we can shout out to where everybody from. But no, definitely make sure y'all smash the like button, man. You right here, I'm talking to you. If you rocking with this shit, make sure you smash the like button. That get us what we need to be. That get us in the algorithm and shit like that. So definitely make sure y'all smash the like button. Everybody who watching this shit, man. Y'all make sure y'all run this shit up, man. Run them likes up. But, uh, yeah, man, as far as this NBA young boy shit, man, this man crazy as hell, bro. NBA young boy done got grabbed by the feds on 63 counts, bro. Like 20 counts, all drug related. Only, I think one on weapon related, you know what I'm saying? The majority of these shits is felonies. So it's like, <laughs> I, I just seen some people say, man, young boy ass ain't never coming home. Like, 
they ass finna hit him with that elbow, or they finna over like stack the years up. His ass finna get a hundred and fifteen years, like goddamn it, fifty a gyro shitty fifty shot. This shit crazy, whole time, whole time. I'm about to goddamn it. I'm about to give y'all the exact counts. I'm finna give y'all the exact counts. Like this shit is crazy. 63 charges. The counts include 20 counts of identity fraud, 20 counts of obtaining a prescription under false pretenses, 20 counts of forgery, one count of dangerous weapon by a restricted person, one count of engaging in a pattern of unlawful activity, and one count of possession of a controlled substance. 63 counts, bro. Like, and then all this shit federal. All this shit federal, bro. Like, young boy ass. Like, your ass is on federal papers, my boy. And your ass is hopping on social media. With all these goddamn followers, like, young boy got millions of followers. I don't even care how many followers he got. Just know he got more than Lil Durk. And Lil Durk got over 10 plus million, if I'm not mistaken. You got tens of tens of millions of followers, and you hopping on social media with all these followers with, with prescription, uh, bottles of prescription drugs laying down. This man, like, spell overdose with drugs on, on the flow and shit like that. And his ass just laying down on the, like, on the uh on the floor next to the uh this the overdose shit he just spilled with the drugs and shit like that like you getting tattoos of needles and shit like like your ass shooting up heroin and shit like that like I ain't gonna lie bro I don't know what's going on but it's like I feel like ever since not his last jail stint but the stint before that Right around the time he dropped that mixtape with Birdman. Around, around the time he got out of jail when he dropped that mixtape with Birdman, bro. I felt like ever since then, I, I know y'all gonna be like, bro, what's up with the conspiracy theory? Look, bro, I just feel like his ass ain't been himself ever since that, like, ever since around that time. Like, I ain't listening to none of young boy music for like the last three years, maybe four years. Like the first few years, I ain't listening to young boy music for like the last three years, maybe four years. But look, the first few years of him doing music, I was listening to his shit, bro. But I feel like the last, like around the time he did that mixtape with Birdman, and I think his ass had got locked up, you know what I'm saying, got out of jail around that time. I feel like ever since then, around that time, he did that mixtape with Birdman and the, the, that jail stint around that time, his ass been somebody else, bro. I don't think, you know, I think something happened to him, bro. I'm quoting him. I think something happened to young boy around that time because his ass, like, I don't know, bro. I be noticing shit, bro. I feel like, you know, it was something to him ever since that shit, bro. It was something to him, bro. You know, the same shit that they said about Gucci. Like, it was something to Gucci, you know, you know, once he came out of jail and shit like that. It's like, it was on some shit like that. I'ma just put it like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was something to him, bro. So I don't even, I don't even know if that's young boy, you know what I'm saying? Ever, ever since around that time, bro, I don't even know if that's him for real, but, uh, the nigga talk the way how he talk, you know what I'm saying? He seemed like he possessed with somebody, bro, with somebody else. My son, bro, like, young boy seemed like, like his ass, it's something, it's something going on with him, bro. It don't seem like it's him, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember how young boy was when he first came out, bro. Like, his mannerism, how he cared himself. His ass, like, I ain't saying his ass was like, uh, 
Like it was something wrong with him then, but it was like something wrong with him from his childhood. Now, this, when I say it's something wrong with him, like when I'm talking about now, like how it's something wrong with him, it seemed like it ain't him no more. On my son, bro, it seemed like it ain't him no more. It seemed like he possessed. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Ever since that jail stint, the one I'm talking about around the time that mixtape with him and Birdman came out, it seemed like he was possessed by some, like something, bro. Something possessed him. It's not him. It's somebody else up in there, bro. On my son, bro. I know people be like, man, did he, what's he on? What was the conspiracy theory? Like, look, bro. Like, that's just, that's just how, that's just how I feel about Fulton. But it's like, as far as this, um, this, this, this federal case that he got going on, it's like shit. Like shit, his ass finna go down. Like shit, like, like maybe his his work out here done. You know what I'm saying? You seen what they did with Thug, bro? Like they been knew about all that shit Thug had going on, but Thug ass was wearing these dresses and pushing this goddamn it, uh, and this agenda that they wanted to be pushed. Like they supported that shit. Like that's the act that they wanted people to be under. So. You know, while Thug was out here on that type of shit, it's like shit. That's when all the shit was happening for real. Like a lot of the murders and the shootings and the killings and the shit, like that shit was happening around the time Thug was wearing the dresses. Y'all telling me y'all gonna wait six, seven, eight years later, you know, and not that phone them not wearing dresses no more. Y'all wanna lock him up for some shit that happened back in 2015 and shit like all these murders them went unsolved. But all this time, I feel like once your job is done for these people, it's like, you know, they discard your ass like you wouldn't like trash, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like shit, this probably another situation. Even though young boy is definitely more valuable to them free, you know. But you gotta think about it, bro. They've been working this man like a slave, you know, but still you know, he would be more valuable to them free. You know, even even if they got a hundred albums out of his hundred unreleased albums, like young boy being in jail not gonna do shit to they discard this to they catalog they uh that they wanna release by young boy. This they've been working this man like a slave. Like what y'all have been think y'all see how fast his music been coming out? Like whole time that boy been up in that mountain, up in that damn studio working like a runaway slave, bro. Like, they been pumping music up out of him. And then they done got them, uh, you know, they done did something to his ass on that jail stint that I told y'all about. So it's like, shit, they got them, you know, already done possessed the man with something. Now they got him up in that mountain, possessed as hell, working like a slave. You see what I'm saying? Like, and then they, you know, they got full ownership of everything. Like, young boy don't own nothing. That's they shit. And I don't know, bro. It's like shit. Maybe they feel like, you know, maybe they feel like shit. They done with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, for whatever reason. I can't tell you the reason why they as, uh, cracking him for this charge or whatever. Like, his ass, god damn it. Now, mind you, young boy one of the only perk people that beat the feds. The feds got, like, a 98% conviction rate and shit like that. The young boy went to war with the feds already and won. So he's now a part of, like, he's been a part of that 2% for, like, a few years now. So, like, the feds coming to grab him right now, like, shit. This could be the end of young boy, or this could be another situation where they're trying to, um, you know, stir some shit up that he just ultimately going to get out of in the end anyway. You see what I'm saying? You know, but, you know, for, for the time being, let's let the people think, like, you know what I'm saying? It's over. It's over for young boy. And you know how crazy young boy fans is. Like, I just seen a, uh, one of his fans online crying. You know what I'm saying? A black dude, Dreads, crying that young boy and just got arrested by the feds. Like, you know, so it was like, just know that, you know, you know, the fan, the love that NBA young boy, uh, the love that the uh, his fans got for him is crazy. So just off the fact that it's looking like it's going to be old for young boy, 
you know what I'm saying, uh, behind this uh, federal 63 counts that they hitting them with, like shit, they might see a never before seen spike ever, that they never seen before, just off the fact that his fans is on some shit like, damn, he's gone forever type shit, you know what I'm saying, they feel like, they on some shit like, damn, young boy might be gone forever, you know what I'm saying, they might see a never before seen spike, like ever, they never seen a spike like this, like they might see that in young boy music, you know what I'm saying, like, you never know what these people got going on, but, uh, shit, all I know, if this shit go through, like, if this 63 counts go through, or even if they drop it down to, you know what I'm saying, a number lower than 63, if, if a nice amount of these counts go through, y'all can kiss the young boy out of goodbye, like, his ass finna have a whole, uh, Jaro City 50 shot sentence. He might not get life, but it's like shit. This ass finna get like real football numbers type shit. You know? And it's like shit. Like I said, on the music side, they good, bro. Like, they've been working that man like a slave for the past couple of years. So, and they own everything. So it's like shit. They probably got enough albums out of Young Boy, enough unreleased albums out of Young Boy to the point where they don't even need his ass no more. You know? And then the way that young boy fan base is so cult like, like real cult like fan base is like shit. As long as they got the young boy music releasing, like shit, they don't need young boy. They got they got what they want. All they want from you is the music. You done got them at uh made, you know what I'm saying? You done already put out the image that they wanted you to put out. Like same shit I said with Thug. Like, the damage is done. Like, the, the the damage that young boy done did on this generation is done. You know what I'm saying? So now, we don't need you in the physical no more. You know the damage that we wanted you to do to this generation is done. We don't need you in the physical no more. We just need your music for all these years to come. And that's probably why they were working so hard up in that damn mountain. Because they were trying to get enough music up out of his ass, enough unreleased albums up out of his ass to the point where... All right, we don't need you no more physically. We got your, the music that we wanted. You can go. You know what I'm saying? Same shit with Thug. Like, the damage that Thug did on this generation is done. They don't need him no more. You know what I'm saying? They might not, you know what I'm saying? It might not be the same situation, but as far as the damage, it might not be the same situation as far as the catalogs and shit. Like, you know. Like Thug then gave them a hundred albums, like how Young Boy they got. It might not be the same situation, but as far as the damage that's done on the the generation that they wanted to be done, that's done. Young Boy done did his damage on the generation. Thug did his gener damage on the generation. So it's like, you know, they damn near discarding you after that shit. But uh, no, nah, y'all hop in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that shit, man. Um. Uh, if y'all made it to this point, definitely make sure y'all smash the like, say what number y'all live. Definitely make sure y'all smash that like, though. That shit push me in the algorithm. That shit get, you know what I'm saying, shit where it need to be. You know what I'm saying? We don't even just be uh, asking for likes just to, because it's cool. Like, likes put the video up in the, rank it high in the algorithm and shit like that. So, definitely, if y'all mess with me, y'all rock with me, definitely smash that like button for sure. But now, um, make sure y'all drop location, shout out to where everybody from. Uh, make sure y'all go mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom. If y'all like the intro song, go in the description, click CSP hits. If you like the background music, go in the description, click DLDA2. Make sure y'all mess up with my Untold Story series right at the top of the description. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at the official CSP one uh, Definitely make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merchandise. Y'all already know what's going on. Definitely make sure y'all go get that. And um, if y'all want to support the channel, y'all can support at dollar sign CSP OTM1, man. I love y'all. Shout out to everybody. Keep putting up. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Throw some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking big granddaddy, look for them overstuff my blood and shit If I kidnap granny, you gon' be mad as motherfucker Man. Got the kickback addy, I come through strut this motherfucker Man. Bad bitch, red tatted, and Man. hit the black as motherfucker
throw some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit.